Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman and I'm a Sony ICE. That's an independent certified expert. Now I bring your attention to the independent. I am not a Sony employee. I am paid by Sony to do workshops uh, and some tutorials and things like that. But at the end of the day, I'm a freelance cameraman and I make my living out of camera work. So it's very important for me to have the right tool for the job. And very often that means having the best possible quality for the job. Now right now for this, I'm using a Sony EX3 camcorder. I'm shooting this with a small, lightweight, compact camcorder. Basically because it's very easy to set up and I happen to own one, so I have one sitting around. Now during the summer months, I film a lot of air shows and aviation. Now, these are for broadcast. And for those, I use a Sony PDW700 XD Cam HD camcorder. I also use the PDW700 to film lightning and thunderstorms because it has CCD sensors. And in terms of uh, flash photography, strobe lighting and things like that, CCD sensors really are the best. I do an awful lot of corporate videos as well. And for those, I often want something that's nice and light, portable, easy to travel with. And I've been using the PMW350, which is a full-size shoulder mount camcorder for those. And I have to say, I really like the PMW350. It's lightweight, very light, and uses very, very little power. So I don't need to take around large battery kits. Um, a single 140 or 160 watt hour battery will run a 350 for about five hours. Um, really, really good. So there are really good points of these two cameras. The 350, solid state, very, very fast workflow, but it has CMOS sensors. Um, image quality is very good, but there could be issues with strobe lightning, uh, strobe lighting, and when I'm filming lighting, for example, lightning, for example. Then the PDW700, it's a bit heavier, it's a bit more bulky, um, uses the optical disc workflow, which is really good because it gives you an archive solution. You can take the discs out, put them on the shelf, they can sit on the shelf for years before you use them, very, very long life. Um, fantastic image quality but it is a heavier camera. It does take a lot more battery power, so you do need to take a bigger battery kit. Now, Sony have just launched a new camcorder to the XD Cam line, and this is it. This is the new PMW500. Now, from this side, it looks just like the PMW350 or even the PMW320, both very good camcorders. But if I turn it around, you'll see it's actually different. On the back here, we have an LCD screen, just like the PDW700. And in fact, that's exactly what this camera is. It's a hybrid between the PMW350 or 320 and the PDW700, taking some of the best bits of both cameras and combining it into this single lightweight and low power package. Now at the front here, we have three two third inch CCD sensors. These are the sensors from the PDW700. So the image quality is fantastic. You'll have no issues with flash photography, no skew issues, no problems with strobe lighting, or for me, filming lightning and severe weather. So amazing image quality. But then instead of feeding the optical disc, it's recorded here in two S by S slots. So it records onto S by S cards. And that brings advantages of very, very fast transfer speeds. Now, the other thing, because this is solid state, there are fewer mechanical parts, fewer motors and things. There's less to wear out. It also uses a lot, lot less power as a result. Um, if you use a 160 watt hour battery on this camcorder, and I had one on here yesterday, it'll run it for about five hours. So really amazing battery life. It's not quite as good as the PMW350 because you have got CCD sensors and CCDs take a bit more power. But it's certainly a big improvement over the PDW700. It's also very light. Again, there's no big bulky mechanical deck in this camcorder. No need to have a sophisticated eject system for the optical discs like the PDW700. So it's very, very light. Um, really is a nice lightweight camcorder. Some of the things missing from the PDW700, um, you only have one HD-SDI output, the 700 has two. 
um, and a few minor things like that that are missing. But there are some really nice plus points. This LCD screen on the back here is the same as the screen that's on an EX1 or an EX3. So it's much higher resolution, very accurate colours compared to the PDW700 screen. Now just looking at the front here in the viewfinder, um, on this particular camera we have an HDVF20A. This is a high resolution monochrome CRT viewfinder. Again, same finder as you'd find on a PDW700 or even an HD cam camcorder. Very, very good monochrome viewfinder. But this camera has under here the same viewfinder connector as the PMW350, as well as the standard uh, professional uh, viewfinder connector. So there will be an option coming very soon after launch to have the color viewfinder that's fitted to the PMW350. So you actually have lots of viewfinder choices with this camera because you can have the monochrome HDVF20A, the HDVF200A, or the C35W, the high-end uh, color viewfinders, or the lower cost viewfinder, color viewfinder similar to the 350. So lots of nice viewfinder options there. I'm sure you'll be able to find one that works for you. So all in all, what do I think? Well, I think this is a really great camcorder from Sony, taking the best of two product lines, merging them into one uh, camcorder unit. Very, very nice indeed. Um, one other thing I will point out to PDW700 owners, which will, uh, I think, annoy them perhaps, um, is you have four separate audio level controls at the back here for your four channels of audio. So clearly Sony have been listening to us users when we say, please, please, please give us four independent controls. On the 700, you have to adjust uh, two of the channels at the front here and then two on the back. It's not quite so easy. Um, other things to note, um, while you do have the PDW700 sensors in here, the processing and everything else is the same as the PMW350. Now this is a pre-production unit and I haven't really been able to uh, look at everything that it does in depth because some of the things don't quite work properly on this particular camera just now. But from what I've seen, the image quality is comparable to what you get off the 700. Um, I really struggle to tell the difference. But some of the settings, some of the processing settings are very slightly different. Um, the scene file settings are slightly different. This uses the same um, scene files as a, a 350 or 320. So it's very slightly different, uh, different menu structure. And in fact, to be honest, I actually prefer the menu structure, structure in this camcorder over the one in the 700. I find it faster to find items in the menus with this camcorder. So there it is, three chip, CCD camcorder recording onto S by S cards. Oh, and by the way, there'll be a 64 gigabyte S by S card coming out very soon as well. Lots and lots of nice new things coming from Sony.